Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, just wanted to let you know that I have a big project coming up if you're wondering why I have four hoverboard wheels right here. I'm actually, it's actually gonna kind of be a little surprise. Uh, you know what, I'll just go ahead and tell you. Why not? Anyways, what I'm gonna do with these uh, these here hoverboard tires or hoverboard motors is I'm gonna make a go-kart out of them. Uh, I have the speed controllers on the way, the pedals on the way, because uh, I'm gonna have it have brake and or electronic brake. Hopefully, I wonder if the brake is a regenerative brake. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Uh, this thing's gonna be nice. I have a feeling it's gonna go pretty quick. If not, that's fine because I mean it's just it's just a homemade go kart. I want to try to integrate a little bit of suspension to, with it because uh, if otherwise if um, I don't. I have a feeling it's gonna have some bumpy issues. Like I can feel every bump with it. These are all, these are Chinese hoverboard motors. They're from Chick. You can see right here. But they'll do fine, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I uh, so how I got these was what happened was I found on eBay I found uh, eBay I found two hoverboards that were not working because the batteries went bad. I found them for six bucks on eBay, uh, and I decided to buy them because I can just salvage the motors. The motors don't really fail; they don't really have a problem with failing. Um, so yeah, uh, the motor controllers. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna put. I'm gonna have four motor controllers, and then I'm gonna wire it in a way where three of them will just be connected to the pedal, and then the brake, and then the main one will be the first one. And so yeah. I just can't wait to get this project done. There was a guy on YouTube that I saw that kind of made me think about this and wonder, hmm, maybe I can do that. So, like I said, yeah. We'll see what happens. Anyways, hope you like and subscribe. Uh, I will be making more videos, more videos on this especially because this is going to be a big project for me. I've never made a go-kart. I haven't really done metalworks. But yeah, I uh like I said, I can't wait. It's going to be it's going to be really fun. And uh these these motors are actually 36 volt motors. They're not the 20 four volt ones, so that'll be good. And I I have I have suspicion that this thing's gonna go at least twenty miles an hour, give or take. I have a feeling. I just need to find the right battery to power the whole thing. And if I can do that, that'll be nice. And I want to try to find a battery that's not not really expensive, but also a safe one, of course. Because I do not feel like having any fires or any explosions. So, anyway, leave a comment what you think. And leave a comment if you have any ideas on how I can integrate these motors in a hoverboard, or a, not a hoverboard, a uh, 
a go-kart frame because I have no idea right this second. I'll have to think about it or I'll have to refer to a video on how to make something that'll work for it. So I'm I'm actually going to go with traditional hover or er, go-kart steering which is the little linkages that will make the make the wheels turn like this, you know. Turn like that on each corner. Wouldn't oh, you know it would be really cool. <laughs> Four-way steering. All four tires steer. That would be really cool, but I don't know if I want to do that though. That's going to little that's going to make things a little more complicated. So yeah, we'll see we'll see what goes in goes on from there. So, all right. Well, this is the end of the video, so yeah.